aspiring farmers and farmers here in Zimbabwe. You're watching Agriculture on New Directions Agribusiness in support of Vision 2030. And my name is Wazanai Manyore. So this is a platform which was specifically created for our farming community here in Zimbabwe, be it in livestock production, cropping ventures, to mention but a few. This is where we discuss everything agriculture. We look at production economics, time value of money, business finance, and everything that leads to a profit to any farmer here in Zimbabwe. Now in this very episode today we are here in Torashanga Machina Land West at Duneside Farm with Mark Hook who is a well-known breeder, Boran breeder here in Zimbabwe. Mark, thank you for making time for us and inviting us to your farm. Pleasure. Thank you, Watsana. As we get into our discussion, Mark, I would like you to give us a brief synopsis, introduction to this enterprise, this Boran enterprise, and maybe the sections that you have within the enterprise. I understand that you have heifers, you have bulls, you have cows, you have the females. Can you maybe uh, take us through that as we start this segment? Pleasure, Wads and I. Wads and I, what we have behind us is uh, a fat stock boron. Uh, we have in a fat stock competition. So this is one of our enterprises is pen feeding. We are mainly genetics. We mainly breed uh, boron for the genetic material throughout Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the pedigree breeders, we all registered with the Zimbabwe herd book and every calf is registered at 60 days old or before 60 days old and he's kept in the calf book and when that animal reaches about two years old then the inspectors come they inspect him and then that animal can move into a fully registered fully registered with a Zimbabwe herd book so the pedigree breeding is sort of the the the, the tip of the pinnacle it's really the the tip of new varieties improving production improving varieties that what genetic seed producers do Okay, now Mark, can we talk about what could have motivated or inspired you to get into boran production specifically? We have a lot of different uh, genetics in animal breeding, in cattle breeding, but you went for the boran. Can we maybe talk about what could have motivated you or inspired you to get into this enterprise? Yeah. Well, Zanai, we've I've always been a, a pedigree breeder. I started in 1993 with beef masters, pedigree breeding of beef masters. And then with the land reform, the beef masters were, were mainly bred for the export market of the EU quota, much bigger animal that could do well in the feedlot. Um, with the land reform, we needed a lot hardier animal. We needed an animal that was more disease resistant, could cope with herding in the day, locking up at night, and just a really hardy, hardy animal. So we went with the beef with the boron, the boron naturally have been herded by man for 8,000 years. They are a, a, an African adapted, adapted animal and they've lived with man for 8,000 years so we decided to go with the boron. It would fit perfectly into the new farming procedures and management, uh, management situation. Now, Mark, you would find that we might have some of uh, farmers, aspiring farmers who are watching, who would want to get into cattle breeding. I understand that when you went for the boran, you did have a look at those specific characteristics, those that are desirable, that you said, you know what, I'm going to invest in boran breeding. Can you talk to our audience there at home in terms of those characteristics that might have lured you into having the boran specifically at your farm? Okay. Like I said, the, the boran has been an, an African zebu breed for over 8,000 years. Mm -hmm. it's, it has been DNA sampled as its own breed for 1,300 years. So it is really adapted to Africa. Um, it came through the, the, the tip of Africa and from the, from the east. And the DNAs go back 8,000 years and 6,000 years. And um, it, it has 64% of its genetic makeup is the zebu. Mm -hmm. Now the zebu is the same as your Brahmin. So basically this you could class as an African bred Brahmin. Mm -hmm. But it has been its own pure breed for 1,300 years. So it's had a really hard selection time in Africa and it's used to all African diseases, tick challenges, all, all basically African diseases it's, it's used to from the whole of Africa. 
Okay. Yeah. In terms of its genetic setup, I understand that we have those breeds that are specific maybe for meat or for milk or for certain tasks. Can you talk to us in terms of maybe those genes that you might want to highlight, those that are very good and those that you'd want to say to someone who wants to invest in cattle farming, you would say that, I would rather you go for the Boran. What is the genetic t uh, setup that you'd want to emphasize on and highlight on to ensure that our farmers there at home really have a grasp of what we are talking about today? Okay. Like I said, the, bor the boron is 64% Bos indicus, which is the zebu breed, like your Brahmin. Mm -hmm. And then your Bos taurus breeds, it's 24%. Uh, Bos taurus, so that is, that is a, a unique genetic makeup because when they were walking through the south of Europe, they bred with all the European cattle. Mm -hmm. And then it's only about 12% Bos taurus from the African beads. Now, our indigenous breeds in Zimbabwe, are all Bos Taurus, Nkorni, Mashona and Thule. And the, the hybrid vigor that you get from, from crossbreeding these two animals, the, the Boron with the Bos Taurus animals, you get a lot of hybrid vigor and they actually cross very, very well with the Mashona, the Thule, the Nkorni and, and add hybrid vigor and disease resistance. For some reason, Mark, you would find that most of our Zimbabwean farmers or generally the population within our geographical locations that are sparse in this country, people might not even know that we have Boran breeders here. When it comes to purchasing their cattle or their animals, some would go as far as South Africa, some would go so, uh, as, as far as Mozambique, saying that we don't have this in Zimbabwe. And yet here you are as a society, you do exist. When you want to talk to our audience or those that want to invest, we have a lot of farmers, some of them want to come back from the diaspora, we might want to get into this business. In terms of your existence and your society, can you take us through that a bit as we round off this segment? Okay. Well, Zanai, we resuscitated the Boron Society in 2006. We re renamed it the Zimbabwe Boron Breeders Society. Um, it is the fastest growing society in the country at the moment. It has the second most registered animals with the Zimbabwe Herd Book mm -hmm. and it, it also is, has the second highest membership. So since 2006, we've been promoting, promoting, promoting the Boron. Um, it has gained extreme popularity in, in Zimbabwe because not only for its hardness, you can use it for draft power. Uh, from where they come, the Maasai have milked it, milked it for thousands of years, so it has a very good milk yield. Um, so the, the breed now is, is gaining traction in Zimbabwe, and it's just basically because it's very, very hardy and very disease resistant and a very very good temperament you can see they're not wild animals they're very very easy to work with thank you so much yeah. mark that was very detailed on that of viewers we've come to the end of this first segment we're going to go on a short commercial break we'll be right back with this and more in the second segment stay tuned <laughs> Welcome back, viewers. Thank you for staying tuned to Agricultural New Directions Agribusiness in support of Vision 2030, where we discuss everything agriculture here in Zimbabwe. Now, viewers, we encourage you to be a part of these conversations. Feel free to get in touch with the producer with the name Anyore. It's on 0772807506. Alternatively, you can like our Facebook page, Agribusiness with Wazanai. Make a follow up on this episode and more on our YouTube channel, Agribusiness with Wazanai. We are also now available on Twitter, where most of these discussions take place. It's at agribusiness 110 now earlier on before into the break i was talking to mark while looking at the history of his farm and how he uh, ended up breeding boran here in zimbabwe paris we know diana mkoma friday but changi wa shitora nini the animal health kufit wa kwe mombe nesu akadaro pa kukudzu wa kwe boran breed mkoma friday ndo kuchinga miza ipa chirongwa I not in the chair. right chipinda mchirongwa chidu mkoma friday and oti tanke tata ora nye feed Feed, Mombez, Zuku feed, watching Tukuna Mombez, Rukmashre, Kudzne, Tano Zaganyanya, Pane Tumu, Rupano, and my Panev in Maburu, but it's the rise of its new Tano Zaka Simba. Patch Kaf Murkuzi Pachi, Kaf Chamuzipa. Kunyanya Mombez, they do so good, Vanwa, Peta Kuko, Banguino, Zuru, Tino Zipa Mashanga, Zunenda Mashanga, Qua Peta Kunga Kujiko. Maneru, Zagnorara, Zonus, Zono, and Chicaf, Zecare, Chinangachine, Cunya, Chinangachine, my proteins. Chat no Dagunyapa, Mombema proteins. 
ma proteins ndo ari ta kuti muombe dzedi udzigove ne hutano iwo ma proteins acho mukoma friday muruku wawana pa zvinhu zvakaita sezvipi pa zvirimwa zvipi kana chikafu chipi chiri kukupa ema proteins aya eh ma proteins tinonyanyo mawana kubva ku salt ma block eh ne molasses to eh ne chibage chimwe cha tinogaira muombe tinowana nekuchitenga zvakare Pama pastors aminao ndi apa amgataura nezva amuzwara nasi eh ma pastors atinao kunyanyanyanya tine ma pastors atakajara sura re mando dzakasiyana siyana eh weze mombe dzedu kunyanyanyanya eh dzinofurira musango mungori nehuswa chero zvao ndo madzinonyanya kunge dzichifurira ngati pinde ipanya yadze zvirwere mukuchengetwa kwe mombe kana muchengetwa kwe zvipfuyo mune zvirwere zvakasiyana siyana zvirwere zvamunosangana nazvo pakuchengetwa kwe breed re borani ndi zvipi uye muri kuzvirapira sei eh zvirwere zve mombe zvatino zvatingadai kunyanyosangana nazvo tinonyanyosangana ne inonza hatuota hatuota inokonzeriswa ne kwe kwe zvine mavara mavara ndo zvinonzi izvo ma ma bond ma bond ticks e ma brown ear ticks ari ko zvekare anokonza iya inonzi january disease e asi susu e zvirwerezi hatsi kunyanyosangana nazvo nekuda kwe kuti tiri ku dibha mombe dzedu nenguva yakafanira yaka, tino dibha mombe dzedu e sondo roga roga e kunyanyanyanya mazvino mazvinonge zvibatirira zvikwekwe Mhm. Mm Ndoma tonyanyo dibha uh, uh, zvakanyanya. Mishonge yamunoshandisa pa kudibha mukoma Friday yakamira sei. Uye zviri satapinda pamushonge yamuri kushandisa. Ndoda kunzwawo kuti matara chirwere che hatu water, kuti muri maone kuti mombe yangu inenge ine hatu water. Zvizvine zvizvamunoona, makaitarisa zvizvamunoona. Kana in general semunhu anoskwera nemombe, ndezvipi zvinhu zvamunoti mukatarisa munoti mombe ine inenge iri kurwara nasi. Zvamunoti mukangotarisa munoti mombe iyi yakasiyana nemaitira yo mazwaise. Eh pazvirwere zve mombe kunyanyanyanya e eh, mombe dzichivhurura mudanga mm -hmm. chauno tanga kutarisa kuona kuti mombe yaimbe inge ichifambisa kumberi sei yako yakuzosarira kumashure kwe dzimwe kana ichisarira kumashure kwe dzimwe wakutochiza wa kuti mombe iri iri kurwara kunyanyanyanya kana iri hatuota unoona mombe yoyo inofamba ichita sunge iri kujoga joga so ndokuti uzoti mombe iri kurwara ne ne hatuota uyezve ininge singafure ininge yakangokota misa huso hayo all right pamishonga yamuri kushandisa kurapira zvirwere zvakasiyana siyana kana matix ndi ipi yamukati taurira uye kana pari muri kudibha zvakadi pasondoere kaviri pasondoere pamwe dzere uye kana dziri ngwa tinotarisa kuti nedzimwe ngwa dzinotowanda matix nguva yakunaya ya huswa hwakareba muno zvifambisa seti taurire ni mairano nenyaya dzikurapirwa kwezvirwere idzo dzikana kudzivirira zvirwere isusu eh tangogara eh mombe dzedu tinongodzi dibha kamwe chete pasondo uye zve tikaona kuti mombe iya iri kurwara tine mshonga watinotenga ku 58 unonziwo lemoxin ndo watinorapira pa zvirere zvinorwarwa ne ne mombe zvikonzwa ne ne zvikwekwe all right ndikona mune saga renyu mukoma friday raminaro kuda mukada kutirakidza nechikafu chiri momo bvuva matsana ngurawo chikafu chiri momo chinonzi chi ito time chisunungura chikafu chiri momo bvuva matichana ngurawo kuti chinonzi chi uye kuti chisvike pachiri pa pa quality ya chiri chocho pa chimiro cha china cho makazvifambisa sei nde ndiku ndonzwisa kuti varimi vakawanda vemombe dzimwe ngo vanopererwa panyaya dzema feed vanopesira mombe dzao dzisina hutano dzimwe dzaondoroka dzimwe dzapera mwiri ndisinga zviri zvangu kuti imimi pachikafu chenyosha munenge muchidzipai dzimunodzipa zvakadi ndiri kuona kuti pari zvino dziri mumafuro saka munenge muchitidza pedza kufura modzi pafutere kana kuti munozvifambisa se tichitanga zvedu nekuti rakidza chikafu chenyu chiri musaga icho e chikafu chiri musaga ichi ndo inonzi isai isaileji Saileji takao na kuti tinga tichijara chibage chokuti tinga tichigazira saileji atina mafelaza sekuti chibage chinge chichikura so e takazoona kuti tikajara huswa unonziwo bana grass ndo watinocheka toisa mumasaga kudaizvo zvinoita kuti mombe dzedu dzozoana chikafu 
chaka kwani ndirikunzwa kuti pari zvino izvi chikafu chatakabata chine kakunhuira kachina dzo kana mombe dzabva dzatanga onditarisa nekuya mduzi zvi zvamakasanganisa muchikafu chenyu ichi generally musataure zvo imamejamens asi kuda mune chicha makaisa muchikafu e muchikafu mu hatina zva atakaisa e tinongo cheka chete e bana grass to bataisa e, musagum zvinoita kuti ino ibva nengwa yayo kana ichinga kwana masondo matatu inenge yato ibva zvokuti mombe inokwanza kunge ichizodya zvakana kana ndinokutenda ezvikuru muko ma friday nekuya pachirongwa muchitsangana ngurira nyaya dze kufeedwa kwemombe nenyaya dze zvirwere zvingadaro zvichitambudza mukupfuiwa kwemombe tinotenda zvikuru atenda chaizvo there you had it viewers we were looking at uh, animal health in the boran breed production we're also looking at how they are feed the feeding regimen and the various techniques that they employ to ensure that their breed remains healthy and they have a healthy looking head on that note we're going to go on a short commercial break we'll be right back with this and more in the third and final segment stay tuned <laughs> Thank you, Zimbabwe, for staying tuned to Agriculture on New Directions, Agribusiness, and Support of Vision 2030. We are here in Mutora Shanga today at Dunside Farm, where we are looking at their cattle breeding venture. I am joined by Mark Hook once again. Earlier on, front of the break, I was with Mukoma Friday, who was telling us about animal health and animal nutrition. Mark, we are here in the third and final segment. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Woods. Yes. Maybe before we get uh, deeper into our conversation, I understand that behind us, we have four bulls. Can you maybe tell us a brief history, a brief synopsis of those bulls, what they represent, and uh, what are they in general to your enterprise? Yeah. Well, Zanai, that's, uh, that's over 18 years of breeding. That's what those bulls represent, 18 years of breeding. We have mixed genetic families and bloodlines. We, um, in 2006, we went into Boron, and the only place we could get original boron was from forest estates mm -hmm. so we had to get new genetic lines to improve the breed so we went to south africa and got some more genetic lines to cross breed with our hardier zimbabwe lines and those four bulls are the result of 18 years of breeding now mark you'd find that 18 years is a very long time i understand that you might want to tell us briefly a short maybe history of how it all began and uh, up to now where you are now with maybe certain activities on how you were doing your work to ensure that you remain viable and profitable and still exist in the industry in the beef cattle range or in the cattle ranching industry yeah. thank you Watson. and i uh, we resuscitated the zimbabwe boron breeders society to create interest uh, we've grown very rapidly. We have over 100 members now, of which 60 have registered cattle with the Zimbabwe Herd Book. Our partners are, are basically the Zimbabwe Herd Book, and then uh, the, the private industry and the veterinary department of Zimbabwe. We're all very closely interlinked. Um, some of our gold sponsors at our sale on the, on the 30th of June will be uh, Five Vet in the Fat Stock Competition, Coopers, AGT seeds, which supply pasture seeds and, and information we need for pastures, Julie's and windmill. Okay. So those are some of our partners. You would find that we might have that farmer, one farmer who wants to get into this business, but doesn't even know the correct source or reputable sources to be getting his breeding cattle from. Can you talk to us in terms of maybe some events or some organizations that are there to support the upcoming farmers who also want to be a part of this community? Yeah. What's an eye? The Zimbabwe Herd Book is the overall body. It's run by statutory law under the government regulations, and they have a lot, a lot of information. So the Zimbabwe Herd Book is in the agricultural showgrounds, um, and they are very helpful with membership forms and, and members and stuff like that. We also have a Facebook page. We have a website, and uh, we, we do have two or three WhatsApp groups. So there is a lot of... Uh, if they, if they just Google Zimbabwe Boron or something like that, they can quite easily find out how to get hold of us. Generally, what happens at these sales, be it an auction sale, some farmers might be maybe a bit, uh, they don't understand what will be taking place there. 
and they would say maybe why should I go there you know that generally as people when you don't understand something you don't want to be a part of it yeah. generally in a brief I understand that you are regularly there you often go there what happens at this auction sales and if a farmer wants to participate be it be buying or selling generally what are we looking at in terms of the prerequisites for him in general so that we take away or remove away the stigma or the fear that I'm going to an auction, I might not get what I want, or I might have all my money taken away from me, I might waste time. Can we talk about that yeah. as we round off? Yeah. Well, tonight as we round off, uh, the sale is at CC Sales on the 30th of June, the 1st of July. Buyers would have to go to CC Sales and register as a buyer. They have an office there. They've got all the information you need. They've got the buyer's rules and regulations. So you just have to actually go there in, on the morning to CC sales and apply to be a buyer. Um, sellers, we have to fall under the, the rules and regulations of Zimbabwe Herd Book. So the sellers are probably starting to prepare animals at least six months before the actual sale date. Because there's a lot of paperwork that goes into actually registering an animal and selling it through the Zimbabwe Boron Breeders Society. Finally, we have come to the end of this very rich episode. Your word of advice or your recommendations or your sentiments in general in terms of the Boran breed to those mainly who want to take part and they might be scared or they might not have enough knowledge. Your parting words to those that are watching uh, us from home. Well, Zanai, my parting words are please don't be scared. Take a leap of faith. Let's move forward in Zimbabwe, Pambirin in Zimbabwe. And there's a lot of information out there. If people just come to our, our, our field days, our events, just keep watching the social media, watching ZBC, and they will find that the Boron Breeders Society is very well represented throughout Zimbabwe. Thank you so much, Mark, for affording us an opportunity to visit you and take time to talk to us in terms of these pertinent issues that have to do with our herd as a country. It was a pleasure having you with us today. Yeah, thank you, Odds and I. Thank you very much. There you had it, viewers. Today we're here in Mutora Shanga at Dunside Farm. We're looking at the Boran breed here in Zimbabwe. I would like to thank Mr. Mark Hook for affording us this special opportunity to talk about these special and pertinent issues in our economy as a country. From me, your host was Anai Manure. I'm also on Instagram. It's a W Manure. And the crew behind the scenes. Have yourselves a fabulous evening. Thank you for watching. <laughs>